When Dolly, when Dolly. Yes. Are you the realtor that is always looking for the best deals? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new community with great prices, great incentives, everything that you are looking for and more. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Wendelie Quinones. And in this channel, I have committed myself to providing you guidance in your real estate journey here in the beautiful sunshine state and finding you the best deals so if this is something of interest to you make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos welcome back folks we are back in summerfield florida now in today's video i'm going to be showing you a community that DR Horton is taking over. Now I have posted a video in this community in the past. I'm gonna link it for you guys here so you can see which video I'm referring to, where I have gotten a lot of requests for homes in this community. And unfortunately there were not any homes because they had already planned for DR Horton to build in the rest of the lots. But now we have great news. They're officially building, they are officially selling, and there are options from three to five bedrooms, and the prices are starting at $280,000. It's a great price, a great deal, and they have incentives, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. But just so you guys have an idea of where we are, we are only 90 minutes from downtown Orlando and the Disney parks. We are only five to 15 minutes, depending on where you wanna go, from the villages and 30 minutes from Leesburg, Florida, only 20 minutes from Ocala. This is a very centrally located community. It is absolutely beautiful. And they're gonna be having a dog park. They're gonna be having um, a playground. They're gonna have a basketball court. They're gonna have so many amenities. It's going to be a community where there's gonna be a lot of growth. If you're somebody who wants equity on your home, you wanna buy that house for a good price. By the time that they finish building in the community, you have I don't know, $200,000 in equity, $150,000 in equity. This is definitely the community that you want to come to. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the home that we're gonna see in today's video. In today's video, we are gonna look at 100% concrete block home four bedrooms, two baths, a two-car garage, 1,828 square feet, an open floor concept, very, very spacious, definitely one of my favorite homes. Let's go ahead and see the home inside. All right, so now we are inside this beautiful home. Now, when you come in, the first thing you're gonna notice is that we have this nice, long foyer area. And to the right, one of my favorite things about this building is that they have so much storage space, so many linen closets. This is our first, our first linen closet. So this can be the closet where you store all of your shoes if it's raining, coats, you know, anything that you need before you step outside, this is the perfect place to store that. Now. Again, this is a very long foyer area. So when we're coming up the foyer to the right, we're gonna have our first two bedrooms. So once you walk into the first bedroom, you're gonna see that it has so much natural light coming in here. And that is because we have this double wide, double pane tempered glass window facing the front of the house. So we're getting all the light of the day. I am such a big fan of natural light and this room definitely does that for us. Now in this case, we do have a full size bed in this bedroom, but we can easily fit a queen size bed. And now one thing that I do know you guys love is seeing these closets. I love how they do the closets in this model. This one is a little bit smaller, so this room could kind of be great for a guest room or if you have somebody that's a little bit younger, doesn't have too many things, this would be perfect, perfect space for those guests and those um, younger family members or older if you don't have too many things. So now when you walk out of this room, we're gonna have our guest bathroom to the right. Now in this bathroom, I do like the sizing of it because it's, it's like your standard size, but just a little bit bigger so it doesn't feel too small, too tight. It's perfect size. In this case, the builder does give you a combination um, shower and tub, and we have the standard um, backsplash. Doesn't go all the way up. That's something that if it's not your style, you can definitely um, do something to your liking once you move into the home. 
Now this builder does have uh, one single sink in this uh, bathroom and it is a four mica countertop and then we have the storage cabinets down here. You do have the option to kind of play with what colors you want. So if you want gray cabinets instead of white cabinets or you want brown cabinets instead of white cabinets, you can definitely um, see which one will have the cabinet color that you want. So now walking out the bathroom, we're gonna go to the end of this little hallway where we're gonna have our second bedroom. Now this room is very similar in size to the first one. It might just be a tad bit bigger. And this one only has a single window facing the side of the home. You still get a lot of natural light throughout the day. That is very big, very important. Again, I am a very firm believer on natural light. So you're still gonna get that. This is a full size bed, but again, very easily can fit a queen size bed in this room. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is that the builder does include carpet in their bedrooms and then ceramic tiles all throughout the rest of the home. And I wanna show you guys this closet here. It is a little bit bigger than the other one. Still not too, too long, but I can stretch my arms out just a little bit more. And it has this standard rack here in this floor plan. Again, this community is gonna have so much growth to it. So it is a great opportunity to come here and buy a home. Now we're gonna walk back out into the foyer. Of course, we have to admire the decor that they have, but just do it to your liking. <laughs> so now before we get to the end of this foyer area, we do have yet another linen closet. Cause again, the builder does a lot of storage space in this um, model. This is another uh, cabinet or this is another closet where you can maybe put your um, brooms, your cleaning supplies in this one. So you have the going outside supplies and the cleaning supplies here. <laughs> now I did mention that this is a two car garage. So this would be the entrance to that garage. But in this case, they are using it as an office space. So we're not gonna go in there because it's uh, set up as an office, but you know that this is where that door would be. Now, right in front of that um, door to the garage, we have this space right here, which is the laundry room. Now, right now they have it as a printing station, <laughs> but just kind of picture what you can do here. You can put the, the washer and dryer will go on this side. And then if you're somebody who wants um, cabinets in your um, laundry room, you can see that that can be done easily. Just come in and set it up however you'd like to your preference. So now walking out of this laundry room to the left, we're gonna have that um, AC handler. So when you go to get your AC service, this is where it's at. It's actually not in its own separate um, room coming in from the garage or in the garage. It's right here for you guys. Very easy to access. So now we're walking into the third room. Now this one, it seems to be always set up as an office space. So if you are somebody who works from home, this would be a great space for you to set up an office. As you can see, they have the long desk here, but you can kind of place it to your liking. It is a very spacious room. It's bigger than the other two. Um, in this case, you can definitely fit a queen size bed with no problems. Maybe put the bed on this side. Or if you're somebody who likes the bed against the window, maybe put it on that side. But you can definitely put the bed and maybe a dresser right here with the TV, however you'd like. And again, it does have carpet in these floors. Now, one of the things that I find funny about this Every time I come to the builder, they have construction gear in here. And in this case, they don't. So you can actually see the size of this closet. It's a lot long. It's a lot longer than the other two. I can't touch the wall. On this side I can, but then I have to stretch my arm to that side. But you can see that it comes with the standard rack for you to store your things. But of course, those DIY kids. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back into the foyer area so that we can take a look at our social area. One of my favorite things about this home is the open concept, the way they laid everything out. Every space has its own um, separate space, even though it's an open concept. So the kitchen has so much cabinet space. As you can tell, it is a lot of storage for those of you who like cabinet space. Now, in this case, we do have this big, huge island. This is one of my favorite things that the builder provides in every single one of their models. They have that island. So if you're somebody who wants an island, you will not be missing out on if you buy the home with one of these builders. In this case, we could fit three to four seats very, very, very comfortably. This is definitely a place to prep or just decorate and have everything together. Now, in this case, the island does have more cabinet space. So on top of what you see over here, there's more on this side and you can choose the color of what you want. In this case, this is a quartz countertop. So this is not your style. We can get the builder to see if they have brown, gray or lighter um, countertops so that we can find what is right for you. Now, in this case, the builder, again, did not miss out on storage. So we do have a good size um, pantry right here. I love how big their pantries are. You can fit a lot of things in the bottom, even more on top. If you're somebody who wants to go to BJ's, which is right down the street. I didn't mention that to you guys in the beginning. There's a lot of medical centers, restaurants, stores, BJ's, 
very, very close by, this is definitely a place for you to stock those things right up. Now, in this case, the builder does have a little uh, coffee station here, so you can put a nice espresso machine here, store all your coffee things up here, and then whatever you want down here, but it has its own little private spot, which is super cute to me. Now, right in front of the kitchen, we're gonna have that dining room. In this case, the builder does have that French or the farmhouse style dining area with that uh, bench right there, but you can see that you can put at least two seats on that side, so you can definitely have at least. Now, you can see that you can have at least six to eight chairs in this dining area if you're somebody who likes to have um, get togethers and you want to get an extendable table, you definitely have the space to do that with no problem, but you can see it is a nice, spacious dining area. Now, walking from the dining area, we're going to be led directly into our living area. Now, one of my favorite things about this area is the distribution and how you can organize it. There's definitely a lot of space. You can see that they have this big sectional here. And if you're somebody who wants a sectional, you kind of want to know, can I fit one? The answer is yes. You can definitely fit a sectional here. If you're somebody who wants a couch and a love seat, you can maybe put the love seat on this side and the couch here or vice versa. And then you can put the TV here like they have it with that Christmas tree because we love the holidays here. Um, the Christmas tree can go right here. You definitely have that space. So now we're gonna walk into that primary bedroom. Now this is the favorite part for a lot of us. We care about the primary bedroom because it is that place where we're gonna sleep and get our rest at night. And in this case, the builder does have a king size bed in this bedroom. So that kind of gives you an idea of how big the rooms are. That's one of my favorite things about this model is the size of this primary bedroom. You will not be missing out on any space at all. You have the two nightstands and they're pretty big nightstands. So you definitely have that space. And then we have the dresser on this side. Now in this case, the builder does have that um, double pane, double wide window over here on this side. So you can get that natural light in throughout the day, open up your windows, don't have to turn on any of the lights. Now we're gonna walk into our primary bathroom so in this case this bathroom does have that standing shower so if you're somebody who's looking for a standing shower in the primary bathroom this is a plus for you don't have any issues you don't have to come and change it out it's already here for you and in this case we have double sinks it does have that continued for mica in the bathrooms just in the bathrooms and then um you have a lot of storage space down here a lot of storage cabinets and you do have that natural light with this big mirror so if you're somebody who likes natural light in your bathrooms this is definitely another plus. And a third plus about this bathroom is that you get two closet spaces. So in this case, we have this closet space for that individual who does not have a lot. It does have its own private light, which is a plus for me. Um, but you can see how big the closet is. It's not a walk-in, but it's a mini walk-in closet. And it has that standard rack, definitely a place for that person who does not have a lot of clothes. And before we get into the other closet, I want to show you guys the private toilet because I know that's very important for a lot of us. We want to see, do we have that private toilet in these homes? Yes, we do. We have that private toilet so you can do your business. Nobody has to know what happened in there. <laughs> so now we're going to walk into that closet for that individual who has a lot of things to store. This is definitely a closet where you're going to get that DIY kit because there's so much, so many ways of how you can organize this closet. It is amazing. It's really big. Like, just look, I'm not touching the walls anywhere here. <laughs> it is just very, very spacious. I love this closet. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go take a look at that covered lanai in the backyard of this community. All right. So now we're going to step out of the sliding door. You guys did see where the sliding, was, sliding door was located. It is next to the dining area. Now the builder in this model and a few other models has this nice covered lanai area. If you want to screen it in because you're not a fan of having it open, you are more than welcome to. Definitely will not have any issues with that. Now, but regarding the lot sizes, they do vary depending on where you pick your lot at, but you'll definitely have that space for the kiddos to run around. One of the pluses that I like about the, um, the way that they're laying out this community is that every individual is going to have that fence in the back because the division of the houses has fences so if you want a fence you would only have to get it done on the side and don't worry i have the information for the person who does the fences for the community so you will move into this house and have your fence ready to go but you will still have that space to have the family get together that barbecue over here the kids running around definitely a lot of space but not too much for those people who don't want to mow too much lawn now enough of the backyard let's go ahead and go inside so we can talk about the prices and all of those deals that i was telling you guys about in the beginning
Well, our favorite part. The part about the prices, the incentives, and every little detail you need to know to buy a home just like this one. Now, just to give you guys a recap of what we saw in today's video, the home that we saw is a four bedroom, two bathroom home with a two car garage. It's gonna have ceramic tiles all throughout the home, except in the bathroom where you're gonna have carpet and you have the option to have white countertops, brown countertops, gray countertops, and you have the option to have white cabinets, brown cabinets, or gray cabinets and different colored countertops if the ones you saw in this video are not your style. Now, the home that we saw in today's video is around 310 thousand dollars which is a great price compared to how they are in other areas in other communities and just remember that the community is starting so now is the time to buy as you guys know the prices are always lower when the community is starting so as they continue to build as they go into phase two then it'll get um, a lot more expensive now one thing that i didn't point out is that this community is going to have an entrance coming out on 441 so if you're familiar to that road then um, you know where that is. That leads you directly to the villages where you're gonna have all of your um, stores, restaurants, medical centers, you know, whatever you need to. And that is only five minutes down the road. So you're definitely in a great location. Now, the builder is offering on specific homes a 5.99% interest rate, which saves you a lot of money. So just to give you an idea of how much money you can save with that interest rate compared to where we are right now, at a 280 price point, from a 7.58 percent to a 5.99, you save $366 every single month just because you have that special interest rate. So it's a lot of savings. So it's definitely a good time to buy right now with these um, builders with the new construction homes because they are giving you that special interest rate where you're going to have so many savings for the life of the loan. This is definitely something you want to look at. Now, on top of that special interest rate, this builder is offering you $15,000 towards your closing costs. So you will not have to use anything out of pocket for your closing costs. They are gonna be covered by the builder. And they are having a lot of savings, different price reductions on different models. So again, it's definitely a community that you wanna come take a look at. Now they do have an HOA in this community of $47 a month and no CDD in the community. Now, I did do a video of this community in the past i have been getting a lot of requests regarding if they have homes in this community they did not have any homes for that video but now again the builder Gail horton is taking over for the rest of the lot so now we are going to have homes they're going to have the basketball court they're going to have a playground they're going to have a dog park and a lot of amenities for those of you who have families or if you want something peaceful and quiet this is definitely a good place for you now if you want a personal tour of this home of this community Definitely give me a call. My number's here at the bottom of the screen. If you're looking to sell your home or if you want to buy somewhere in Florida, just give me a call. Again, my number is at the bottom of the screen. I want to be of assistance to you. I want to guide you in your process of buying a home from beginning to end. And I want to help you win with one of